Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my gang with me, Ifeoluwa Oshokaye and Ewa Oluwa Oritu. Hey, hey. What's good? How are you doing? Savage, You're man. looking like a baby this morning. Oh. You're looking like a Christmas morning. Well, my name is Ewa Oluwa. Oh, girl. <laughs> this chakra is just too much. I'm proud like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> you look really good but, this morning. Yeah, Thank you. You, nice you look good too. Well. I mean, I always look good, so right. it's a normal thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start Thanks with um, music. Good okay, if you look good. Hmm? You look good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, music streaming service Booplay has released a list of 10 most streamed artists in Nigeria for 2019. Bonaboy emerges number one, followed closely by gospel artist Tokwe Alabi, while Kiss Daniel came third. Others on the list are Tenny, Naramali, Olamide, Simi, Davido, Messi Chinwo, and Steve Crown. They also released a list of top 10 albums, top 10 Nigeria songs, among others. Tokwe Alabi came number one on top albums and Nigerian songs with Yes and Amen. Mm. What's up? Wait, yes. What's up? Wait. Amen. I feel like I think, I'm I think, the, I think the real the real influencer of this top LRB position has to be Funke Akindele. Right. Because <laughs> when her the, the news of her child broke mm. and so many people knew that this is the song she always dances to yeah. and that was the song she used for her announcement yeah. and all that. I feel this is my personal feeling. Mm. I don't know what their metrics mm. are, but I feel like Funke Akindele really um, the influenced so. for top LRB. And I'm happy. Maybe as a Christian, I mean. Yeah. A Chris, no, 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 Christian no, no. artist. Yeah, the streaming for um, gospel music was. Ah, we've given our life to God. No, 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 no. I think what happened is that this year a lot mm -hmm. of gospel artists were um, put out their song on this platform. Yeah, before, and they were doing more publicity, publicity for themselves. Yeah, also. before it was always you buy the CD or you, or you go to the church. Church and they like it. They put it on all the platforms, yeah, mm. and then at the end of the day. Nobody is um, listening. listening to them. Mm. You see, the situation we faced in 2019, the mm. hardship, eh? It this was, was enough our to own turn to God. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. To speak to God and be listening to God's uh, 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 Anyways, I'm not surprised that Bonaboy is stopping the list. I mean, we all agree that this is Bonaboy's For top yeah, uh, for, um, artists, artists, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big shout out to Bonaboy, yeah. by the way, because he's been making some boss moves on mm. Loki, mm. you know. Before some people, he just said, got a Ferrari. Yeah, he just got mm -hmm. a Rolls Royce as well. Oh, sorry, Rolls Royce. Yeah, that was the, he got the Ferrari first, then the Rolls Royce was the one mm. because you so your that your boat's correct. And Sis is in in town. Yeah, Clemmy yeah. 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 is definitely done. Yeah. Like is you need to go and watch our story. Please go and watch our story. <laughs> so if you have hope on Bonner, don't worry, we've cornered it. Up. Give up. Most artists <laughs> before the car even arrives in the country, they're already telling you, oh my. Yeah. But Bonner boy, we just wait for it. You know, it does not. Um, there's no point in social media noise. anyway, yeah, he so doesn't. there's no way he would have But even when he used to, Bonner Boy is not the kind of person that wants to display his wealth yeah. and all that. He just, I think he just lives and enjoys um, the people around him, makes music and have fun. So him leaving social media, basically not putting his personal opinion out there, I think he's not really taking anything from him because that's basically who he is. And I mean, Jenna is playing this big brother thing for most artists in the industry because when you see him with other artists, he's holding them like, oh, bro, me and all that. He's doing you you're the one saying that. No, so I'm serious. A lot of people are actually saying, saying that. that, like, Bonavo is actually dominating the industry right now, and I'm not going to dispute it. And I'm really proud of the guy because this is some guy that went from nothing to everything not mm -hmm. even nothing because at the end of the day um like to party was his biggest breakthrough and that was it even our style of music at the time and then he kept on and it was persistent so big shout out to bonaboy i think he's one of the biggest testimony stories of 2019. Mm. and yeah big shout out to kiss daniel too it was number three, three yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. i mean he has worked hard and i feel he deserves that position you know is always trying going on tours having shows and um, it gives us good music, so yeah. I think it deserves that too. I, I, I just, I just, just one part that I'm a little bit confused. I, I honestly feel that whiskey should be on that list because trust me, a lot of people stream whiskey songs, so I don't know how they got that no, list. No, that no, list. Well, this is for both play, though. Yeah, this for both. Yeah, play. I know, right? I'm just saying, like, even on that platform, I know a couple besides, of friends that on, use that whiskey, platform. Whiskey and has stream. dominated this list for so long that it should allow other people shine. I think whiskey. And how many new songs? It's not whiskey really dropped this year. I didn't call so many. 
citizens. Please, hold on. I was going to look. Don't look at me like... I thought you said the EP is breaking everything. I don't get it. Yeah. It, did not, it did not break boom play. <laughs> What's wrong? What because if, it, if, if it has been... If it is always talking like, oh, that EP is there and there. Yeah, and but, if I'm but, going but, by his but, words, I was hoping that at least it would be, be maybe not number one no, to five or something. No, but you need to understand that a lot of people that are on this list did a lot of publicity. Whiskey didn't do a lot of PR for most of his songs this year. Uh, apart from... If I uh, always find that's a way to <laughs> make an excuse. So who said you shouldn't do publicity? And like and I said, there's people that... They are not into this. Oh, I need to be on this list. I need to be on this. It's not that you being into it. It's just what people listen, people listen to. to anyway, basically. let's not make this about whiskey, please. Right. Um, congratulations to those on the list. Mm -hmm. And um, tomorrow at tea time, we will be having a conversation about music in Nigeria 2019. Mm -hmm. So I think you should tune in to watch that one. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. So moving on to the mm -hmm. next story, indigenous rapper Remuleku Safaru, popularly known as Reminis, has revealed that he initially thought he was cursed and unfortunate when his musical career refused to pick up during the early stage of his career. He made this known during a recent empowerment program in Lagos State. He said, and I quote, after my OND in 2003, that's like 16 years ago, I met ID Kabasa, and that was how my journey started as a musician. I also met Nice, Lord of Ajasa, Too Fat, and Olamide through ID Kabasa. I was thought... Um, okay, I thought I was a bit unfortunate when I started my career because things didn't really pick up for me. Nice blew up and my siblings would call me telling me to go and get a job, saying my friend was already miles ahead of me. Things weren't working out for me then. There was a struggle, but I kept pushing until my time came in 2010, 2011. I like um, this motivation because mm. we know how to compare ourselves to others and say, mm. oh, this person is doing good, what is going on with me, why is my life like this? But I think we all have our own starting points mm. and our finishing points, whether we like it or not, there's always an end to everything. Even though nice blue before Reminis, Reminis is still really, is more relevant. I'm sorry, I, I hope I'm not going to offend anybody, but I think it's more relevant than nice mm, today. So I think there is a lesson for everyone to pick from the story. Just keep at what you're doing, run your race. When your time comes, it comes. I mean, <clears throat> I think everybody needs to know this now and accept it that there's like everybody have their own time and space. Mm -hmm. get, when is your time? Is your time? When you don't try to like steal someone's shine when is their time because even at the end of the day nobody will notice you mm -hmm. like you rightly said just stick to your heart we have loads of artists even um people that are into business you know that tell their story every time that it was not easy at first it was looking like well this is probably not what i will this is not my way and at the end of the day it's on our right for them like you rightly said just stick to your craft and you'll get there thank you to um reminisce for this one mm -hmm. okay so i'm just going to put it out there for all those um upcoming artists that feel like um because their music is not making with them um may so rest in peace but i can't help but make reference to the guy that was signed to alamity that took his life um sometime this year i think like yeah. two months or mm -hmm. three months ago that said because his career was in booming and all of that. So imagine a reminisce, imagine it was he, he fell into depression or imagine he allowed what people were saying to get to him. Maybe mm. he would be saying, I am a so rest in peace. And I won't have Kaku be yeah, checking now. You understand? But that, this is somebody that persevered. He stayed there. He kept doing his thing. Do you understand? He was consistent. He kept, even true, even up to now, he still has this criticism. Some people would still say that he um, still never blew rich some indigenous Rappers. Really? No, some people will still be like, ah, he came out before Alamdi. This is blown, no. Your opinion is no. Not some people will be like, you case. came out before Alamdi. Alamdi is doing better than you. Some people will still be like, you came out before this person. This person is doing better. But people than always you. talk. You, do you understand? Like, compare. so even up to now, some people will still argue with you that Reminis is one of the. Um, bottom of the full chain indigenous Maybe rappers. Maybe they don't do so well. No, yeah, I'm mean, just saying like some because people... Because even on endorsement deals so, and all, mm, Reminis is, is people, good. Some people would still want to say such things, but Reminis, I think, is somebody that has always stayed in his lane. He's, mm. he's not bothered about competing with this person or this person. But he space. shouldn't try to be an um, MC ever again, though. <laughs> I just had to put that there, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I tried to avoid this. He shouldn't just be an MC ever again. I'm just saying, I tried, like, especially it was during, important to put it out there and especially during the hour <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people also said that how can you put reminisce 
uh, with the girl Nancy, Nancy right? Yeah. Now, why would they put that? With, why would they put them with Nancy and all of that? So, a lot of criticism, a lot of um, backlash on Reminis, but he kept doing his thing, mm. and here he is today. And I think Reminis is still going to be. It's going to go down. History, the names that will stand there. Alaga now, what you expect? Alaga is Billy. Alaga is Billy. What do you expect? It's not that Georgia. Ah, that Georgia. Wow. Okay, it's time for a quick break. <laughs> but when we come back, Whiskey and Dario Musa is in the news. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Whiskey vows to get justice for his found killed by a police officer. The deceased Babatunde Ramon Adeni was killed by a police sergeant, Lukman Akombi, on Friday, December 27. Adeniji was reportedly returning from Whiskey concerts when the police officer accosted him. According to reports, the police officer shot Adeniji following an argument between him and the fan. Meanwhile, the police officer has been arrested and dismissed by the Nigerian police force, according to to the statements they put out. So I I hope that the justice is served actually because dismissing him is not justice. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope Whiskey follows through because someone like him following the case would definitely make sure yeah. justice is served because mm -hmm. I, I don't even know what to say on this story anymore. I'm tired. I would just say what I've always been saying. Maybe they just need to pull back all their uh, members of the police force to retrain them and let mm -hmm. them understand what their roles are and how they should behave when they're holding a firearm because it's just, it's tiring right now. Talking about it is just stressful. I don't know. I mean, it's very heartbreaking that somebody was just having fun and then the next minute is gone. is gone. It's very sad, but I'm just going to take it from the angle of celebrities speaking up on mm -hmm. issues like this. Like, I, I've said it before that if we keep quiet, if we all keep quiet, this thing will keep going around till it comes close. Yeah. Do you understand? And I, I feel with, with this now, hopefully, we will be able to, you know, speak up against issues like this for and other celebrities to come up and speak against issues like this because it's really depressing. We've been shouting police reform and it just keeps getting worse every day. A month cannot go by without hearing at least two cases a week, you know, mm. two cases or something happening. The police is shooting somebody or they are beating somebody up. And we have to remember not, not just Lagos, we're talking about nationwide. Yeah, this is not just about Lagos, like nationwide, everywhere. Is that is happening at Kure or Akwaibom or somewhere? Or Benin. Or Benin. Or Benin. Or so it's safe to say no day goes by without something, something happening. happening. Mm -hmm. um, it's just depressing. Hmm. So um, one thing, first of all, I know you guys, I'm not saying this because of it's whiskey, right? No, but the way he swung into, he, I said he swung, <laughs> so he swung into, the way he swung into action um, mm. was very um, commendable because oh, yeah. a lot of um, other artists would probably release an apology and just say, oh, I'm so sorry about what happened at my concert, blah, 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 and they move on and they're doing some other thing. But immediately, before, after he spoke, a few minutes later, he retweeted that they've arrested with the face of the officer and all of that. So I have to commend Whiskey for swinging into action the mm. way he did almost immediately. And for all the other people that jumped on this case, such as Rugged Man and all of them, we need to commend. I 
I think I, I think we should give Rugged Man a very big shout out because yeah, he's Rugged always Man there to Segaling. help. Yeah, and mm -hmm. Segaling, they are always there and ready to help anybody. It's just a DM away. Like mm -hmm. if anything is happening, once you send them a DM, they are talents calling people and ready to help. I mean, thank you guys for always being there for people that don't have any voice to speak for themselves. Yeah. We really appreciate. And then speaking of um, the police reform, I think um, it's going to be ongoing for a while because. Nothing seems to be happening. Even with those that have been caught, with those Colour that this case is yeah, still yeah, it's still ongoing and all of that. So I just, I just want to advise every concert go out this day, um, especially this period. Be very careful. Watch the way you communicate to these guys because you're avoid triggered. Avoid them. Happy. I mean, to avoid be honest, them avoid them completely. If they stop you, kindly stop. Do not speak rudely. Do yeah. not say things that would warrant them to mm. for their finger to be itchy. Do you understand? Like, just know that even when you're on your right, know that they really do not care about your right. Exactly. I mean, you should, I think so it's okay if you understand think, the environment. Yeah, so just know that these people mm. are right now. It's not like um, it's the safest period. They are also getting Merry Christmas tips here and there. People are giving them drinks and all of that. So you need to understand that this period is a time to really be careful and look out for yourself. So um, for everyone going on this festive period, please stay safe and um, avoid the cops. Mm. Okay. Thank God the dirty December is almost over. So we have one, one more day to go, right? Still dirty January coming. Nah, January is so clean. I am clear. You see that cross balance, I know. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the next story. Actress Dayo Amusha speaks further concerning her controversial comments on enjoying sex. So, um... I saw her post. It was a long rant on, but well, basically, what I picked from mm. it was just um, enjoy yourself, enjoy your body, whatever you do with your body is nobody's body, business. Um, yeah, basically, pretty much. I would go with um, this one if it was a one on one conversation, but um, you have little kids, you probably figure that look up to you and such um, post. She already can... answered that at the end of her. Um, what did she say? Uh, did she, she said it that she does not need anybody to look up to her because people came for her and like, oh, she's a role model. We're not, talking, role model. We're not like... talking about the people. We're talking about the kids. I'm talking about the kids that enjoy Daya Musa's movies. I'm mm. talking about the ones mm. below 18. Obviously, if you feel, if you are 21 and you call her your role model and because of what she said, you want to go and start using your body in here. Well, nobody's she's pushing you. Your body no, nobody's you know pushing <laughs> What makes it anyhow? She's saying that she doesn't care about your body counts that you can sleep with as much men as you want to like you enjoy um sexual intercourse and all of that but i'm talking about the kids out here now now i think um there should have been 18 plus you know that thing today had not used to do that will put his 18 plus before you read so you know that there has been a disclaimer and wait, 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 wait. so the 18 plus will stop the kid from going um, but further at least you know you dropped the disclaimer and then when people come honestly to for me like, i'm with her on this and i feel like she's an adult it's her opinion and she's putting it out there a lot of people she's not the first person to put out something like this mm. to be honest i feel like people are just coming for her because somebody was saying um talking about your back culture I mean, I mean, people just want to have something to say on it. Your boss, your boss don't, <laughs> don't have, have sex. sex. <laughs> that was exactly I'm my question. I'm trying to understand. Like, I'm an what evil is girl, going so on? I need to know if uh, <laughs> Wait, but... do your boss have sex. I don't have sex. I, I oh, don't think okay. we do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we do. I must have dropped on the side They didn't do anything. <laughs> no, but really, I feel people just want to... In our words, people are just hypocrites. I mean, you all do these things. You all say these things behind the Yeah, I think door. that's the word. A lot of people are hypocrites. Hypoc so, so I don't know why they are coming for her. Like, did well, she, she say anything wrong? Anything out of the did she, that's she my point. Did she say anything wrong? Did she even lie? No. So what's the problem? Mm. I, f I just feel like... Please, let our Daya Musa go. She's our auntie on this table. So please, let her go. Please, Go to where? I was going to ask, yeah, go where? At the way they are dragging her up, and they should leave her and let oh, her go. Why oh, are they dragging her? Don't worry. I tr trust yeah. Daya Musa. She's not even bothered she's about that. I don't know she replied with this. She has moved on. Say, you people can say whatever it is. And then she... I don't think she she has always been vocal about how much she enjoys sex how mm. much she um a sexually active person so i don't think anyone should even have a problem with that and one thing say. we need to understand also is that enjoying sex and being a sexually active person does not mean that you're promiscuous yes yeah, exactly it's very possible that you found a partner that is very understanding mm. and you pull are meeting yourself on the certain level and you're good right so it's i i, I think and I people think just take this out of context and interpret it the way they want to interpret it and they start making 
making noise. I th no, for me, she I think people for... just want to talk. Because mm. if she's coming out to say, don't have sex, don't do she this. Also, she also preaches to she 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 them being safe. Like when you're doing whatever yeah, you're doing, you have to practice it safe. And then she also so, said that there's nothing wrong with sex on the first date. Yeah. Yeah. If you like, wait for the um, day 31. But I think I don't need that one also because I don't understand. Last, last, the sex you have on that first date is what? Okay, it's still the same thing. What will happen will happen. Because it's a family show, like you say. So let's move on to the next story. <laughs> and the Dereji Latif advises men on how to treat their pregnant wife. Taking to his Instagram page, the actor said it is a natural thing for women to look less beautiful during pregnancy process and maybe menstrual period. And that it's um, the responsibility of her husband to aggrandize her beauty at this time. He said, and I quote, give her all the attention she needs at this time because that's when they crave it more. End of quote. Yeah, so I think this guy just won himself to get to heaven. <laughs> because this is just very perfect. He said it the perfect way. He said the right thing the perfect way. Mm -hmm. And after reading it, I'm like, because bombs all it's over me. It's easy to sweep women of their feet. You know, no, right. Well. <laughs> because this guy just stated the obvious. I'm wondering any man that doesn't know this. And, um, like, I mean, a lot of men don't know this. Well, mm. maybe they know and they don't do it. Yeah. I mean, we cannot act like Have you they been are pregnant not... before someone didn't... <laughs> No, I've not been pregnant. It's not about me. But if you're aware of people around you and if you, you know, listen well and listen to other people's experience, mm -hmm. you will know that a lot of things happen that when women are pregnant, mm -hmm. their husbands start to act, you know, not everybody, yeah, but some men start to act differently because she becomes less attractive. And you know, some women can be really She becomes a totally weak, different person. A totally different person, well, I know, but it's not every man that has that understanding that it's just for this period and this is what's happening right now. You have to be there for her. Some men would, some men would travel and let you undo whatever is wrong wow. with you. Wow. It happens. Why are you acting like it's some kind of... Well, but some men travel because they just have to travel. No, I'm not talking about because men that travel because they have to travel. I'm talking about men that intentionally leave the house because their wife is so pregnant. So we're supposed to take care of their to... pregnant wife. Okay, so picking it from what you're saying, I mean, the menstrual part, um, period part, I, I, I don't get the less beautiful part. Because yeah, I because that's when women are Some, some women look more beautiful when they're on their period. Some. Oh, like like some you rightly have, said, some. While some it's have not, issues. It but works on the for pregnancy part, for me, I would want to say that I feel like there should be more communication, or me, sorry, more conversation around that topic. Because mm. some, some men do what they do, not because they they know it is wrong. They do it out of ignorance and they don't even understand mm. it. And pregnancy is not something you can say, okay, this is how Elsie was when she was pregnant. So this is how my wife would be when she would be pregnant. It hits everybody differently. differently. Right. Like a woman, the same woman can the even have different, agile, different um, symptoms or different reactions on different pregnancies. So you can say, oh, my wife was pregnant, um, um, the first baby, she was cool, she was not eating more, she was this, and then the second pregnancy, she becomes oh, totally somebody else, she's eating everything, she's not interested in her environment. So it's, 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 it's something I feel like men, older men that understand this, should begin Educate to speak young to younger ones. Ones. I know women now have a lot of support groups and a lot of conversations around things that bother them. And I feel like men should do this also and speak to the younger ones because sincerely, so many of them don't just understand it. It comes to them as a shock and they feel like, how am I supposed to understand this? And some of them already have an idea of, okay, if she's pregnant, she'll vomit, she'll want food, she'll want this. And then suddenly you she see someone throwing up, see someone, throat. her body's hot, she's, she doesn't even understand anything anymore. Oh, like, it's everywhere. so different. So they need to be able to prepare their mind to understand that mm. this is what can happen and anything absolutely anything can happen it's not there's no playbook or rule book for you to know so i feel like conversations should really go and i like that he raised this i just hope that older men in the industry can or just people that people look up to can come together to speak to younger guys because i think men lack a lot of mentors that they don't have mentors at all unlike women because we already have the gender equality movement and feminism and people are coming together to say this is what you deserve this is your value this is how you should be treated but men they don't even understand how to handle the woman that have understood her own value you know mm. so i think conversation should just start around this a lot yeah i think your ladies have said it all Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> I think this is how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. I remember you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrowsu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always will go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshoke and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later. Thank you.